Now that we're done with the Edit Profile page, let's move back to Profile and see how to display a given user's posts at the bottom of the page. So we're going to display the post count as well as the post underneath. And what we're going to be displaying them as is a list of posts. So we're not going to have this tile format, but instead we're going to be creating this enlarged post view. And this is going to consist of three parts. We're going to have a header up at the top with the post owner's information, their avatar, username, and the location of the post. Then the post image, and underneath that, a footer. This is going to consist of two main rows, one row for buttons, a like button to be able to like a post and unlike it, and a comments button to tap to see the comments screen, to be able to see all previous comments and add your own, and then a row for the likes count, as well as the caption associated with the post. So this is what we're going to be creating, the basic structure of this. And to do that, we're going to head to post.dart within widgets. Now, the first step that we'll need to take is creating a post model. It's going to be very similar to our user model, where we declared all of the properties of it as variables and created a from document factory to deserialize our data and to create a user instance. We're going to do the same here, all within our post stateful widget. So we're going to create a post model here and pass down all of our data to post state to display those values. So we're kind of going to have a model and a widget all within one. So if we head back to our Firestore database, we see when we're on the post collection, if we go to a given post within user posts, we see it's composed of the fields description, likes, location, media URL, owner ID, post ID, timestamp, and username. And we're going to basically be using all of these fields except for timestamp within our created post instance. And one thing I want to mention before we go forward is how this likes map is going to work. So when a user likes a post, when they click on the like button, we're going to add that user's ID to this map. Remember, likes is a map where the key is their ID, and it's going to be set to the Boolean true. If they unlike a post, if they tap it again after liking it, we're going to set this value to false. That's how we're going to keep track of the likes that a given post has accumulated. So now let's create our model within our post class. And these are basically all going to be declared as final variables of type string. So we can just copy this and say, our first value will be post ID, and I'll paste this in five more times, or six more times. The second will be called owner ID, then username, location, description, media URL, and then likes. However, this will be a dynamic value. Then we'll pass all of these to our post constructor. I'm just going to copy all this and we'll paste it in between a set of curly braces. And I'm going to use multiple cursors here. So to enable that, we can just select Alt or Option and then tap where we want that additional cursor to go. So we'll add a comma after each of these. And then we'll delete everything before and just say this dot. And now to provide instructions for creating a post instance from a document, we'll create another factory called post.fromDocument. So we'll have doc as the parameter that'll be of type document snapshot. So we'll import Firestore for that type declaration. We'll return a post. And first of all, to get the post ID that's going to come from doc, and we'll, since we're using a map here, We'll get it from the post ID key. So we'll copy this line and again paste in six more times. So for the next value, that will be owner ID, then username, location, description, media URL. And finally, likes. 
And here's the benefit of including a model along with a widget, is that we can add methods to this before we pass the results to our state class to be displayed within our build function. So what do I mean by that? Well, we want to add an additional property here, and that is a like count. So we can create a method that returns an integer called get like count, and this is going to take our map, our likes map, and we're going to calculate how many likes that a given post has, which again will display right here in the footer. We can calculate that by iterating over the likes map, iterating over its values, and checking to see if its value is equal to true or false. If it's true, we'll add one count to our likes count property, which we'll pass down to state. So first of all, within this method, if there are no likes, we'll, we'll return zero. And we'll say there are no likes if likes is equal to null. We'll return zero. Otherwise, we'll declare a count variable initialized to zero. And then we'll take likes.values. We can iterate over the values of this map with four each. And for each val or value, we can check to see if it's equal to true. So we could just say if val, or to be more explicit, we could say if val is equal to true, then we want to add one to this count variable. So count plus equals one. So if the key is explicitly set to true, add a like. And then at the end, return the count variable. So now we want to pass down all of these values, including our new get like count, the return value from that method to post state. And to do that, let's create some named arguments for post state. So we can just copy all of what we have here, both the variables and the constructor, and modify it for post state. So here we'll use the post state constructor. And since likes is going to be updated within our post, we can just set it to a map that's not final. And we'll also have the like count initialized or declared in state that's of type int. And we need to add this to our constructor. And now we can pass down to state the post ID from this dot post ID, owner ID from this dot owner ID, username will be this dot username, location this dot location, description this dot description, media URL this dot media URL, likes this dot likes, and then to calculate our like count, we'll execute get like count and pass to it our likes map from this dot likes. I just need to add to the parameters likes. Okay. 